Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here to do your What's Cracking reading. Firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, if you're new on board, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as part of the team. We have a fabulous community here. Um, and I've been working with many of these people for the three years that I've been on YouTube. So huge thank you to you all for your support. Um, firstly, I have been sending those cards out to people. I sent out several decks yesterday. I've got a couple more to go today. Um, thank you for all of you who um, uh, pledged to pay for the postage. It's been fantastic. Um, I do have um, a couple more to send out today, so hopefully I'll get them away today. If not, it will be Monday. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, I'm now open for readings next week. I'm pretty much full for this week, so um, if you want a reading with me, you can choose to have a face-to-face -face or Zoom reading with me, depending on where you are. Um, and I also do taped readings on YouTube. Um, you can find exactly what you want at www.theaussiegoddess.com and you can book it at the time that's suitable for you. Um, I feel like that's everything. Uh, go live on YouTube on Wednesdays at midday. Um, I should be able to next week. I don't see anything standing in my way, but it is getting quite busy. So I'm trying to work out how I can extend the time online or even start earlier. So I'll see how I go. Um, Starting earlier may be an option for some of you because you live overseas and you're getting up at ridiculous hours of the night to watch me, which is really um, impressive in terms of your loyalty, but I'm just feeling that maybe it would be better for me to do, say, 10 a.m. rather than 12 p.m. So I'll have a look at that. Um, I think that's everything. We're going to use the Albano Rider Weight Tarot here for your reading. Um, so let us get straight into the reading here. The readings have been very deep, not just for the collective. The readings I've been doing for, for personal readings have been very deep and meaningful. A lot of people doing some fantastic work out there and really aligning with the collective, um, which is a beautiful thing to see. Um, many people understanding how to work with their own ego limitations. So that's been pretty awesome too. So, all right, let's get into this reading. Don't we love seeing the judgment card come out? The judgment card is a card that talks about rebirth. It talks about coming around to something again that perhaps the first time around didn't or wasn't right for some reason. When we look at judgment, we, we look at the idea that you are being called to judgment. That means that what you've done in the past is being called in to see whether you need to rebirth, start again, go around. The Judgment card is the second last card in the Major Arcana, which means that you've gone through the lessons in that cycle and you're ready to close off the cycle. But before you do, the Judgment card says we're going to review everything we've done and if we've done it well, then everything starts to fall in place. We can close off that cycle and move to the next one. But if we've done things that haven't been, um, I guess, sort of good for us or not right for us or that we need to review how we're doing things then sometimes we can go back to other stages in that cycle and pick up and put things right for ourselves but for this energy here it feels to me like you are going through some sort of rebirth there is a closing out of old cycles and patterns you've completed your learning and the universe is saying to you here it's time to take on a new a new learning here now this six of pentacles is a funny card because for years it sort of had all these different meanings and it just keeps growing for me um, the six of pentacles in its I guess its basic meaning talks about spreading wealth evenly you know making sure that everybody gets a fair share of everything and when it comes up in relationship readings or in relation to relationships it often talks about Reciproc reciprocity in a relationship. So being with someone who is putting back to you. And that is learning how to work in a relationship. It's about learning, you know, how to work with others. It's also about learning when to sort of pull back your energy and when to invest in your energy. So it's very much the energy of understanding how to be fair in a relationship in regards to all things. Like that's what you're doing. You're building a partnership here. 
It also for me can talk about you coming into alignment with your truth and understanding how to manifest with the universe, asking for what you want, asking for the support you want, asking your angels, your guides, whatever you feel is around you to give you the support you need to have this reciprocity. Sometimes we find in relationships we keep investing and we don't always get what we want. The same thing with the universe. So the universe is working with you here. This is something they're working with you on. And I feel like it may be both in this energy. So you may be asking for some guidance from the universe in regard to some sort of relationship or some relationship status here. Yeah, because you've got a soul contract coming through here. So there appears to be a second chance at something. But this time around, you're recognizing you're recognizing the need for equality within a relationship. Now, it may not be somebody returning. It could be that you have a second chance in love, but this time you're learning how not to overly invest or to give yourself up for the sake of the relationship. This is about um, understanding how to preserve or conserve your own independence in a relationship. This means that you have learned the lesson here of codependency. So what you have learned along the way is that a relationship is a two-way street. It's not something where you give up everything you have. And I don't mean in a physical or material sense. It's about understanding, you know, that when you're investing a lot in a relationship, that you expect people to invest back in you. So that's about boundaries, you know, healthy, healthy I want to say coordinates, I don't know why, but it's about being healthy in a relationship and understanding that you deserve to be loved too. And once you get into this energy, it feels to me like you're starting to manifest a much healthier relationship with someone, possibly a cancer here coming through. Um, the chariot card does tell me that there is forward movement. Things are going to move forward very, very quickly after some sort of recognition of energy here because the chariot will move very, very fast if all of the opposing forces are going in the right way. So what this says to me, somehow you have understood how to work within a relationship. And if you're not with this person at the moment, if you haven't met them or they haven't returned in, this time you're gonna do things very differently because last time you over-invested yourself because you were being in a codependent energy. Now, a lot of people get codependency and dependency mi mixed up. In a relationship, we should really have a little bit of mix of dependency and interdependency. That means sometimes you, you know, you can rely on your partner, your partner can rely on you, and that's okay. Codependency, however, is a very different thing, and I feel like it's really underestimated. So codependency is completely unhealthy. It is not good in a relationship because what you're doing in a relationship is you are giving the six pentacles, and the person you're working with is giving nothing back. It's a completely uneven relationship. It means that you've got your person on a pedestal. It means that you are doing everything against what goes against your nature to make them happy, regardless of how happy you are. And what starts to happen after a while, you start to become very uh, resentful, angry towards them because of how much you're doing and how little you're getting in return. And then the relationship will turn sour. We see this happen in so many relationships where people have abandonment issues um, or issues from their childhood attachment issues. So, you know, if you feel that's happened to you before and you want to heal it, start understanding your attachment pattern um, and it will really help you to work out how to love and how to be loved, which is the hardest thing for us to, to have. We find it very difficult to let other people in. So when we're codependent, rather than losing them, we just keep investing and it's very unhealthy. So the chariot says to me here that both of those sphinxes are moving in the right direction. You've got something moving forward here, but in a very different way to what you've done it before. And we have, look at this. We have stability, we have love, we have true love here. Could be dealing with a fire sign here. I feel like there is some energy of somebody coming towards you very, very rapidly, I was gonna say here, with an offer for you. So this could be somebody that you are just meeting. It could be somebody who's returning. It could be brand new love. Um, but whatever it is this time, because of your learning, because you've been through this energy here, because you understand who you are now, you're doing things very differently. You have a lot of self-respect this time around. 
All right, let's have a look what's going on. Well, there might be marriage for some of you with the Hierophant coming through. And maybe for some of you, this relationship will lead to marriage. It may be that somebody is already proposing, but whatever it is here, this is a relationship built in commitment. So it's possible here you could be dealing with somebody else who is as committed as you are to this situation. They do have a commitment here. And we have that beautiful Ace of Pentacles, which tells me this is very, it's a very, it's going to be a very successful union. All right, let's see. What is happening? All right, Devil card coming through after talking about codependency. We have a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like for some of you, this may be somebody that you've had some sort of connection with in the past. Um, it's always sort of a hard thing to sort of decide whether you've had a relationship with them because the King of Pentacles can represent someone who is married um, or has been married previously or is ready for marriage. So whatever it is for you in this King of Pentacles, this is a person who desires to be a partner. This is a person who probably um, functions best or is best suited. I just had 11.11 on the clock, by the way. This person here is a person who likes, who feels they're at their best when they're in a relationship. This is a person who is happier providing, happier having that stable relationship here. But this time around, there is no codependency. We're not dealing with the addictions anymore. And codependency is an addiction to love, a sex addiction, addiction um, a people addiction. So you, if you are codependent, you are addicted to love and that makes it very difficult for you to not be in a relationship. But looking at this, this looks really like a very, it's like there was a lot of sadness before, but you're moving into this much more stable and committed energy here. All right, so Ten of Swords. So there's definitely a cycle closing out here. I want to say, and I felt this energy before, because you're moving away from something here, but I feel it's the conflict in a relationship. So maybe when you were in this relationship before or when you've been in previous relationships, you've often questioned the commitment here of the other person. Maybe you've had relationships in the past that have been toxic. Maybe you've dealt with narcissistic people and maybe that hasn't fared so well for you. But you see you're moving away from this energy. You're going through a rebirth. So you're starting to understand how to work with somebody, how to commit to them, but understand that they need to put into it as well. So you're doing things completely differently. And this is completing a cycle here. We have the Justice card and the Hanged Man. So the Justice card tells me that you've completed a karmic cycle. There was something you needed to learn in this lifetime. You could be dealing with a person here that you've had strong past lives with before. You were possibly married to them before. Um, and coming into this new relationship or coming into this new opportunity, there is no questioning of what's happening. You may initially question things, but you're not going to keep doing that because you're understanding now that you have healed this part of yourself. The cycle is closing. You're now seeing things from a completely different perspective. So this energy of codependency is sort of whipping into the background here. And we have the full card. Beautiful, beautiful. So there is a leap of faith required with this person. Okay, so I'm feeling whoever this person is coming in for you here or has entered into your life or re-entered into your life. This time around, you're not questioning the relationship because you understand this time what you've been doing in the past that has not served you in relationships. So you may have been a giver, a people pleaser, somebody who overly invested in others and did not invest in yourself, which sort of makes the seesaw a little bit slippery. So this time around, there is a letting go of fear. There is a letting go of those chains that have bound you to the, your past way of thinking, doing or being. And this time you are moving in a completely new direction. I see a change of how you see things. I see you moving away from the conflict of the past. I see you moving away from the sadness of the past. And this time you're taking a leap of faith. I feel like here with the judgment card, you've got a brand new opportunity. But this time you're investing the way you need to and your person is giving back on all levels. There is a soul contract here. And I see this with the justice card that something here 
is built on a sturdy foundation. It wasn't before. It was very towering before. This time you're moving forward because you have everything in the right order. I see a lot of love and commitment coming through with these energies. So definitely a beautiful new relationship for you, a beautiful union for you, but something this time around that you're going to do very differently with the full card here. Yep, you've manifested. So what you've done in effect is you've been working on yourself while you've been waiting for your fruit, your, your pentacles to bear fruit. So in that time, you haven't been waiting around, you've been working on the things that you needed to work on to understand what went, what went wrong in your relationships previously or what went wrong in, in a relationship previously. Whatever it is, you've been waiting very patiently but you haven't wasted this time. You've put, put in the work and effort to understand your own energies here. But definitely somebody coming in here that's going to turn your world around because this time you're doing it completely differently to what you've done before. You've changed your energy here. So you've gone from the Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles here, which means you're far more stable and far more committed than you've been in the past. So it definitely this energy of, um, of changing yourself on a lot of levels. Maybe you've become more confident. Maybe you feel more confident in relationships. Maybe you're understanding your own internal patterns. All right, so we have card number 25 here, which is the Macabre Spiritual Protection card. Being open to receive is a way to gain empowerment, strength and all manner of assistance. To enhance receptivity, it can be helpful to declutter and cleanse your energy field. This allows for that which is not rightfully yours to be shed. Sometimes this will include the disowned thoughts and feelings of others. When you release these thoughts and feelings, a spaciousness will ground, grow within you and then you can receive more of what rightfully meant for you, your divine good in all ways. It's really interesting here because it talks about overload to your system as a spiritual person. And I know that many of you are in codependent energy and understanding your spirituality of greater level, but it is about understanding your energy of giving rather than receiving. And I know people say to me, but I like giving. Giving as a people pleaser with, with um, harming yourself in the process, so not receiving back again is actually really unhealthy, but that is about childhood trauma. So people pleasing isn't always a good thing. Well, it's never a good thing, really. Her helping others or putting a bit of effort into others is a, a completely different thing. People pleasing is not healthy. So the oracle is confirmation of, the, of those, for those of you who have been questioning a relationship, person or situation that has been draining you or transferring negative energies or thoughts into your energy field. Your insights are correct and you can use this energy process to remove the cords of attachment and release any negative energy from this person. And I feel this is what's happening in this reading. It's like you're starting to understand how you attach to this person in a very unhealthy way the first time around. If this is a brand new relationship to you, you may have done that in a previous relationship. Whatever way it is, that judgment card tells me that you're getting an opportunity for something very, very beautiful here. I'll leave you with that. Thank you.